Recently, I've been talking with friends from my childhood. There are so many good memories from those days, and we catch up on the lives of those that we grew up with, and we remember the events of the past with fun and laughter. But for me, there is also a certain amount of regret from those days. And one of those is not speaking up for the good of others. Not wanting to speak up seems to be common, even for biblical heroes. Moses didn't want to go back to Egypt to speak to Pharaoh. And Jeremiah didn't want to speak up to the nations as a prophet. Jeremiah was an Israelite. He was a priest who lived and worked in Jerusalem. He was called as a prophet to warn Israel of the consequences of breaking their covenant with God through their adultery and their injustice. One day the word of the Lord came to him and said, Before I shaped you in your mother's womb, I knew all about you. Before you were born, I chose you for a special work. I chose you to be a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah wasn't thrilled with this calling. In fact, he made an excuse. I don't know how to speak. I'm only a youth, he said. But the Lord replied, Do not say I'm only a youth. You must go everywhere I send you and say everything I tell you to say. Don't be afraid of anyone. I am with you and I will protect you. So Jeremiah was given words to uproot and tear down, but also to plant and build up. Listen to Jeremiah 1, 10. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. He accused and warned Israel of coming judgment, but he also had a message of hope for the future. Now, I realize God is not calling us to be biblical prophets to the nations. But there is something here for us. First off, we are shaped for a divine purpose. As believers, we know that God is the master designer of our lives. He is shaping the purpose and destiny of our story. Secondly, the Lord is with us and will not forsake us. And finally, He will give us courage to speak up for the good of others. Let's consider what this looks like in everyday life. It's being an advocate for a person who is in difficult circumstances. This means using our influence to speak on behalf of someone else. A core value in the disability community is advocacy. Going with a friend to correct a bank's mistake is advocacy. Helping a child express their feelings in an IEP meeting is advocacy. Speaking up for others who are mistreated is advocacy. It's also saying what is wrong in society when it's wrong. The prophets of the Old Testament were known for this. Ezekiel said, the people of the land oppress the poor and needy and mistreat the foreigner, denying them justice. And Isaiah said, Woe to those who make unjust laws, who deprive the poor of their rights and withhold justice from the oppressed of my people. It's also speaking to someone honestly about their condition. Of course, the norm for everyone is to ignore God in the world that he has made. And this puts a person in a dark spiral downward. For instance, it's cheap sex, mental and emotional garbage, paranoid loneliness, uncontrolled and uncontrollable addictions. Brutal tempers are examples of this spiral downward. You are doing someone a favor when you point out the truth. This, too, 
was a major theme of the prophets. They spoke out against the moral evils of the people. Yes, it was uncomfortable, but it was for the good of everyone. Speaking up is also telling them who Jesus is and what he has done in your life. The personal story of intervention in your life is powerful. For someone to hear, not only that there is transformation in Christ, but that you yourself are experiencing it, and it gives hope. You can invite others into the fullness of the life of Christ. And our key spiritual insight? Grasping the meaning of God's grace in our hearts leads to speak up for the good of others. We were made right by God's grace through Jesus Christ. God's unearned favor moves us to show the same favor to others. We do not separate ourselves from those who are suffering and needing help. God's Spirit makes us aware of needs and we become involved. We speak up for the good of others and to bring them hope.